Hello friends of booktube, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun if I did a 48 hour readathon instead of a 24 hour readathon. If you've been watching my channel for a while or if you've just been here recently, um, you might notice that I do a lot of readathons. Um, it's my favorite book. It's my favorite way to read. I like to just cram everything, um, and that also is kind of working for my season of life right now. I'm kind of busy outside of YouTube, and it makes it hard for me to like get reading done throughout the week. It's easier for me to just cr like block out time to get as much reading done as I can. So that is what I've been doing. I'm super excited actually about this readathon. I picked a few books that I am kind of behind on, but I'm also really in the mood to read. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about those vid the books, not the videos, the books. Um, the first one is The Push by Ashley Audrain. So this one I've actually started. I'm on page 88. I started this one actually a few days ago for another, like a different readathon and it wasn't able to finish it. So I thought I would just roll it over into this one. And it's pretty short, so I feel like it will make me feel productive if I can get this read. I also have My Dark Vanessa by Katie Elizabeth Russell. This one I have started as well, and I'm on page 47 with this one. This was the first book that I started this month and wasn't able to get to it because I was supposed to do a weekend reading vlog and I things came up and I couldn't do it. Um, so I thought I would just try and crank it out in a readathon. I thought that'd be fun. And lastly, I have Starsight by Brandon Sanderson. This one I was supposed to read for another vlog that I am now scratching because the other two books I'm not interested in reading at all. I figured let's add this one to our random stack that we have going here. Um, I really enjoyed the first book in this series. Um, there's one book before this one called Skyward, and then there's one after this called Cytonic or yeah. Cryptonic, Cytonic, I think it's Cytonic. Um, so I really enjoyed the first one and I definitely have high expectations for this one as well. I think this is going to be a good place to start. I feel like this is a good little array that I have going here um, and stuff that can definitely keep me interested in reading during this long period. Um, I will say that this will not just be 48 hours of me consistently reading um, because that, no, I don't operate that way. I do need sleep. Um, but this is going to, be, going to be me trying to read as much as I possibly can within this next 48 hour period. Um, I do need to film and edit another video during this period, but that is on the to-do list. So that is something that I'm wanting to get done in this next 48 hours as well. Um, so if that cuts into reading time, that is okay because that is part of this readathon as well. Okay, I am going to, so today is Monday. It is 1.35 p.m. I am going to start this readathon now um, and it's going to go until Wednesday around 1.30ish. Um, there will not be any extending of this readathon. I don't think, I tend to do that with my readathons because something always seems to come up and get in the way. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that only because I don't think I have the space to do that. And I think I am actually going to start off with the push by Ashley Audrain. I was really enjoying this when I was reading it and it was a quick read. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to need to kick us off. So this is the book that I'm going to be starting with, but that is the gist of the intro. I hope you guys enjoy this, this the next portions of this video. <laughs> Hi guys, update, my hair is a mess. Okay, um, so a little bit of an update. I really have not done that much reading. This is more an update on like how I'm feeling right now. Um, I just had to do this like stretching thing. I went to the chiropractor today because I've been having a lot of shoulder pain. And so I went to the chiropractor and basically the reason I'm having so shoulder pain is because there's a lot of stress on my neck and my lower back is compensating for it. So if you've ever heard the term banana back, I have that severely. It's bad. It's bad. So they sent me home and they were like, we need you to do this special stretching twice a day. And I have to basically roll up a towel and then put ice on top of that, like an ice pack or even like under the first layer of the towel. Um, so that way it'll be cold and then lay, put the roll of the towel underneath my neck and lay like on the ground on a flat surface and lay like that for like 20 minutes. And right now it feels like I've just held my head back like this for 20 minutes. That's what it feels like. So my neck is like not feeling great. That's actually like the position they're trying to get me in is how a normal person is supposed to stand. Um, because my neck apparently is like so far forward 
that my lower back is like curved so bad to get me back upright. I have like one of those headaches that's like in the base of my head. This is basically a long story to tell you that there's a headache in the base of my head, but I'm pushing through that to read this book because it's really, it's kind of good. So I'm kind of having a good time. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this soon and move on to the next book, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep reading. I did it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I look crazy. Just please ignore how crazy my hair looks. I finished the push and I think I'm going to give this 4.5 stars. I, it really was sitting at like a four. No, probably was sitting at like a 3.5 for me, honestly, like the majority, just cause I was a little bit like confused for some of it. Um, but then the ending just really hiked it up for me. So I really did have a fun time with it and I'm pleased so that's good and now I'm gonna move on to something else I don't know what yet I think I'm gonna move on to my dark Vanessa question mark yeah I think I'm gonna move on to my dark Vanessa I'm gonna read a little bit of it right now and then we will probably have dinner and then I don't know I already finished a book that is great progress now let's see if we can finish another one Aw, I got water on my book. If I look crazy, it's because that is how I feel today. I also apologize if you can hear all the cars passing in the road behind me. I'm just here for an update. I am having a really off day today and I'm feeling a little bit sad. I don't know what it could possibly be. Um, Jonathan and I are currently waiting for my aunt and cousins to get here because they're picking up their car. We're, we've been borrowing their car for a little bit. They're gonna get their car and then I think Jonathan and I, I was gonna lay out by the pool and Jonathan was gonna swim. Um, and I can do some more reading that way. Uh, that sounds really peaceful and awesome right now. So I definitely hope to do that. As far as reading update goes, still reading My Dark Vanessa. I'm on page 105. The cars are so loud, I swear. I'm gonna keep this short. Still enjoying it. It's definitely getting harder to read. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm gonna I'm gonna push through. I have like 250-ish pages left, so I'm hoping to finish this today. And then we'll see where you know my mood takes me. Um but for now, I'm gonna um, sit here for a little bit and then go lay out by the pool. Okay, just disregard how I look. I'm literally halfway ready for the day. But I did want to update you guys. It is now Wednesday. I don't know if I really did any vlogging yesterday. Um, I was supposed to, but as usual, my cousins. You know, I hung out with my cousins. I love them. I can't help myself. Um, so I hung out with them, and I didn't really get to do any reading yesterday, which was kind of sad. Um, so I'm still reading My Dark Vanessa, but I'm just 
allowing this to happen. I'm on page 149, so I am almost halfway through the book, and it's still really good. Um, it's definitely hard to read at a few moments, but I'm surviving it, so it's okay. Um, having a great time with this book, I definitely don't think I'm going to get to um, Star Sight in this video. So I'm really sorry if you were looking forward to that. If you really want to see that, I will vlog that for you. But yeah, it's already 10.25, so I literally have technically three hours left of this readathon. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. I'll probably read. I'll probably read. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do that.